today we're checking out the new solo stove wok with the solo stove cook system. That's next. Welcome Backcountry Renegade, I'm Jeff. This channel is all about backcountry adventures and all the gear in between. If you're into those things too, consider subscribing. Today we're looking at the Solo Stove cook system featuring the wok. Now, if you've seen my last video featuring the wood fire grill, uh, this is an addition to that. Now, one of the limitations of the grill is you cannot do stir fry. That's where the wok comes in and it really shines. So just like you would use the grill, you have the same kind of hub that you would need to raise the cooking surface so you can put your wok on top of it. So this is neat because it allows you to do a little bit extra kind of cooking uh, that's a little more versatile. And I like this because it's also concaves on the inside, which allows the temperature to fluctuate as you go. So the hot things right in the center, so let's say you want to cook a steak or sear it, uh, you can cook it right in the center. And as you move to the outside, because it curves upward, the temperature is going to be slightly less. So you can warm your things on the side, like a tortilla, something like that. And you can cook your things uh, more in the center. Another cool thing is because there's no grooves or anything in it, let's say you want to do some kind of liquid like eggs and make omelets in that, you can do so with this or do stir fry, uh, fried rice, different things like that that would normally fall into a grill with slots. Uh, you can get by with the wood fire uh, wok here. It also is cast iron, so it holds in the flavor really well. You will uh, have to season it after every use, so just like typical cast irons. Uh, it does come pre-seasoned though. You do have these little feet here on the inside here, so it prevents it from slipping. Now, Solo Stove does sell the wok and uh, the uh, hub here as a unit. It's normally $324, and you, it's on sale right now. You can get it for about $219. You'll see a link in the description uh, where you can see that now. Now, you can get the wok in various sizes individually if you already have the hub. Uh, for the Ranger, it normally costs $95. It's on sale for 75 for the bonfire it normally costs 115 on sale for 90 bucks the yukon is also the same size as the bonfire wok so it's also 115 on sale for about 90 bucks all right another cool thing solo stove made is they made these carrying cases so in the video when i talked about the solo stove uh wood fire grill i was saying one of the cool things i'd love to see is a case and they finally made one it's good enough for each uh, grill kind of unit so if you have the wok you need one of these if you have the wood fire grill you need another uh, but nonetheless it has uh, a nice zipper has nice handles as well that you can carry it so to start it up you'll want to go ahead and start your fire and then let it go down to its embers and then go ahead and add on your wok and let it preheat so today I am cooking beef and broccoli we're gonna start off by steaming the broccoli then I'm gonna go ahead and cook the meat then mix it all together and create the stir fry. All right, so checking out the temperature here, the outside is about 440 degrees, and the inner area is a little hot, probably about 500. And 80 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and cook around here. And as you spread out your food, um, the outer portion is going to be a little slower cooked. The inner portions a little faster cooked. And we're going to add our broccoli. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to pour a little bit of water and we're going to steam it. All right, so add a little bit more oil to there. And go ahead and add the meat here. Add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of ground ginger. We're gonna watch this cook. Nice thing here is the broccoli, you can actually put it on the outside and it's less heat there. And the main thing you want to cook, you put in the middle where the main heat is. It's closer to the fire because of how the wok shape is. All right, so it looks like our meat's about done. So we're gonna add here this uh, stir fry sauce and then we're gonna mix it all together. All 
Oh, that's looking good. Now, while the fire is actually smokeless, as you're cooking, you're obviously gonna get steam and smoke from the food that you're cooking. Nice thing about the wok here is it keeps the sauce in the middle and you have this different elevation on how you want to cook. If you want to cool this, all I have to do is I wanna keep it warm. I just move it to the outside areas and that way I can keep everything warm without everything burning as well. If I wanna cook, I just bring it all into the middle and while it's in the middle here, um, I'm able to go ahead and cook it a whole lot faster. So that's nice if you do various things. If you want sides, cook the sides first and then move it to the outside while you cook your main things here. This is another good thing if you wanna make omelets and uh, anything that requires uh, some kind of uh, sauce or anything like that is a really good thing. Fried rice would be another good thing. Obviously you cannot do that on a grill. So that's where the wok definitely comes in. All right, I think we're about done. Let's. Uh, Go ahead and put on plate. All right, looks absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead, check it out here. Wow, pretty awesome, so good. So that was pretty amazing. Um, I really recommend the grill and the walk together, you can do tons of pretty awesome cooking while you're out uh, camping or overlanding. And uh, the nice thing is these two will take care of the majority of your cooking needs if you wanna use it on a wood fire uh, thing like the bonfire here. They also make a griddle. I personally don't think I would use that as much because I'd majorly use the grill and the walk here. And a lot of the same things I normally use a griddle for, I can use on the wok as well. But the cool thing is because the wok is actually concave, you can actually spread your food out to the outer portions. It's gonna be more warm. And then when you wanna cook, you just move it to the middle. Cleanup is actually a breeze while it's still hot. You still have the embers going. Uh, just pour water on your wok and you're gonna get steam. And then just like they use at those Japanese steakhouses, just use one of these little chain mesh things and you can go ahead and scrub everything and get it nice and clean. As you do this, the water will evaporate little by little and then once you want to get the remainder water off, just go ahead and use a paper towel and wipe it down nicely. You don't wanna let it evaporate completely because then you still have all the grease and everything left. Now, once you're done cleaning, because it is cast iron, you will want to go ahead and use some seasoning oil to just keep it nice and seasoned and prevent it from rusting. So what did you think of the wok for the solo stove cook system? Is this something you would use? If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.